It's time to catch up with uh, leading South Island trainer and of course uh, that being uh, Matthew Pittman with his dad and Michael and a uh, great opportunity throughout the program as they look for success on day number one uh, of the New Zealand Cup Week Carnival and Matthew's with us on the phone now and Matthew very good morning, huge team uh, assembled, uh, These are, this is the week that you, I'm sure you set your horses for. I just, unfortunately, I think we've just lost him there. So we will, he's dropped off the line. So we'll try and get Matthew very, very shortly. Of course, I've got a strong chance in this race that we're going to look at, which is the Pegasus. And Sensei, of course, presented at the market at $3.70, won this race last year. But Weka Force, who sits at around that $3 mark. And Pusagur, who's taken market support as well at $5. Matt's back with us now as uh, we just lost a phone call there. But, uh, yeah, Matthew was just saying this is the week that uh, I'm sure the stable look forward to and really set your horses up for this uh, big week out of Christchurch. Yeah, that's uh, it's one that we, all our owners and staff and that get keen for. Um, as everyone knows, it's a bit of, a bin, bit of an indifferent week to us. As, um, it's the, also the week we lost lost my brother's Johnny. But, um, as you said, we, we target this week. It's when the money's up on our own back door. Um, we try and make it as successful as possible and I think we've sort of done so in the past and this year the team seems to be thriving as well so we're going to today with a bit of confidence. Yeah, you, you speak about your brother Johnny and of course Sensei is, is a special horse uh, to the family and it'd be great to be able to see this runner uh, be able to produce what he did 12 months ago when winning the, the Pegasus. That's a, I mean, it was a pretty emotional day when he got up to win that um, 12 months ago and I think that he's come come in this year every bit as good as if if not better. His, his trial was real good. His work's been, been top notch again and um, yeah, we take a bit of confidence in today especially with that rain staying away. Um, you know, they can run them in quick times and with that rain staying away it's a big asset to his chances. That's right, because he was just electric, wasn't he? First up last year, Matthew, he was able to just stalk them and, and really sprinted strongly away from his opposition. Well, the barrier draw of one, obviously, it's going to be a hot race. So, sort of, where are you hoping that you want to sort of position up? And, and, and I'm guessing you're hoping not to be much buried on the rail anyway with him. Yeah, he's probably lucky in the fact that he's got horses like Wicker Force drawn not too far outside him. Um, it's probably the obvious leader if he can sort of stalk that and. We trust him, Michael, to get get him off the fence at some stage because uh, he probably does need to. Uh, but yeah, if he if he gets fair crack at them, then yeah, I, I think we can see him at his brilliant best again today. Um, we've made it no secret we think a lot of the horses while we while we named them what we did, and mm. we've always said that he's probably a Group One horse in, in waiting. Um, he probably hasn't had much luck in the Group Ones, but um, hopefully he can get that this year, and that sort of starts with today. And what about Nelly Bly, Matthew? How do you rate uh, her chances coming into this? Uh, yeah, she probably needs a little bit of luck over a thousand to to beat some of the in better sprinters, but she definitely deserves her chance in the race. Um, she's ultra consistent. She's got a bit of that class factor about her. Uh, she'll be back early, and if it's a hotly run race, then she will be finishing over top of this year. And, um, I've, as I've said, we we took a we took a similar path with first serve a number of years ago and she backed up to win the Phillies and Mears race in the middle day. So I guess that's probably Nellie Bly's main target, but um, we're expecting her to be competitive today as always. Well, let's move on to the Group 1 now, the 2,000 guineas with Albasti Eco World, and you've got two chances in the race. First of all, Marine, uh, a horse who's had three starts, uh, was brilliant first up when winning, and you can take a lot with what he's done in his next two following races as well for the Son of Ocean Park. How, how happy have you been with his preparation leading towards the Group 1? Yeah, we're real happy with him. He hasn't had pro had a lot of luck. Two starts back, he got held up and knocked down a couple of times and then flew home when the winner had already skipped away on him. And yeah, we were real happy with that. And then the other day, he just ended up with a dog fight, probably 400 out with Unition. And when he's not, when he's hit the front in front of it, of he's sort of wobbled around a bit. So I guess the job today is for Michael McNabb to time his run right. Um, as I said, we have full confidence in him. He's got a great track record on our horses. He's won a great one winner for us. I think he rides a winner every three or four rides he rides for us. So um, I guess that's why he's not. Yeah, we take a lot of confidence into today. It's no secret. We think he's a high class animal. I don't think the miles any trouble at all when he showed that last start. 
Also, the fact that there's going to be a bit of speed, a bit of pressure in the race, and with, with your barrier draw, it just means you can just take a spot away from that, that early bustle. Yeah, that's uh, he's, he's got a couple natural front runners to his outside, and then he's ended on the inside. So there should be a lot of lot of speed in the race. It should be a truly run mile, and I think that really really suits us. He's he's a horse that does have a high cruising speed. So you know, if there is a lot of speed in the race, you probably settle settle better. And uh, as I said, if, if he can get a nice run in behind him and isn't too far off from turning behind him, McNabb can time his run right. Then I should expect him to be ultra competitive and be right there in the finish. And you've also got Watchmaker in the race, uh, comes into it most recently with a fourth in the Barnswood Farm. Yeah, I mean, he deserves a spot in the race. Uh, he's been, he's by pins, he's been screaming out for that extra distance. Um, he showed that when he won his maiden here uh, over 1,400 metres. He had a super quick time that day and backed that up. Uh, he ran in fourth in the Barnswood Farm, probably having to come around that full in the race. And ran the fastest last 400 out of any horse on the day. Uh, he's another one of ours where the, the rain staying away has been a big asset to him. I think that he probably needs a little bit of luck to beat some of them ones at the top of the, at the, top of the market. But uh, if he does get it, then he's a really good each-way chance and he wouldn't surprise me you know, if, if he went a bold race too. We'll move on to race number nine, Matthew. Uh, a couple of chances here for you. Golden Harvest, first of all, comes into this race with a recent placing behind Paul Segur, who's very much well found in, in the Pegasus race this afternoon. Uh, sits around $5.50, is equal favourite at the moment. Uh, what sort of push can you give for us around this runner? I think he's probably our best chance of the day. Um, and as, as, as I've just shown, I'm pretty bullish about a few others, but yeah, his run the other day was massive. He got back and wide and Flash time late. Um, it was a really nice run, and it was on a day where the rail was out here at Rickerton. And sometimes it can be a bit of a front runner's bias when that happens. Yeah, we thought his run was massive. His work since has been really good, so yeah, we take a lot of confidence with him as well. All right, and what about Whale Song in the race as well? Yeah, he's, he's sort of been targeted for this meeting. Um, he's been building nicely. Uh, he's also we think will go through the grades this preparation and. Yeah, I think uh, he'll be ultra competitive today as well. He's probably a good each-way chance. All right, well, you've sort of indicated what you're liking for the day. Well, we haven't covered off uh, the whole team. Is there any other runner that we that we need to keep a close watch on or an each-way chance or something that you think can, can run a race at odds? What else are you liking throughout your, your, your team of runners? Uh, Rock Sensation, we also think, is a big chance. 1,200 probably just short. You know, uh, he probably prefers 1,400, but he was really unlucky the other day and then rattled home. Um, it's unfortunate that we lost Carvish Chowdhury during the week. He fell off and dislocated his shoulder and, and fractured his arm, but um, we were able to engage Jonathan Parks, who's also done a really good job for us in the past. So, uh, yeah, I always think that with a little bit of luck and the right run, then he can be right in it. And also for... Our uh, four kilo apprentice, Megan Justine, she takes him down on our girl, Billy, who uh, is a really, really ultra consistent, ultra, ultra tough filly that uh, she'll be on speed. And I think if she gets sort of a, a soft lead or a soft run just in behind him, then she could be hard to topple over as well. So, yeah, we're, we're really happy with our team. The team seems to be thriving, and I think we've got pretty good chances all day. I think last year we won four on the first day. And I'm not saying we can win that, but if we can win half as many as that, then we'll be happy, you know. All right, Matthew, uh, thank you for your time. I, I know it's a, it's a big week coming up, but also it's a very tough week for the family, so we're also thinking of you as well. Each and every year we come to uh, Cup Week as well. Let's hope Sensei can do the business again for the family coming up in the Pegasus, and all the best with your team of runners today. Hey, thanks, mate. Good one. That's Matthew Pittman talking about a huge team of runners there for the Pittmans and liking Golden Harvest that's lining up in race number nine Number five is their best. Also gave a good little push towards another uh, a number of other runners, including Sensei in the Pegasus. We'll take another break and we'll be back with more here on the Punter's Lounge.